Wow, to consider the growth of AK Ricks over the past 10 years, it's kind of exhausting. I mean, it feels, it feels crazy. It feels um, so unique to, to move from, you know, just being a guy's hangout men's store into this like a really beautiful place. Opening the 28,000 square foot store that we're in today is probably the proudest moment. To change from 4,000 square feet to 28,000 square feet, it's pretty amazing, it's pretty significant change. I remember the day so vividly because we worked really hard in August to open up the first week of September. Uh, the store was packed. It was, wow, it was something. The relationships that I've made here at Acurix, I think it's an odd thing. Not many employers can say they have friends that they work with or clients that become friends and family and we all have a, a common interest in luxury clothing and I think it's a really fun, a fun little community that we've kind of built here. Those relationships I think I'll have forever. Grand Rapids is a different city now than it was 10 years ago and I think you know, we've stepped up to the plate for the city. Gaining trust is, it takes time, it takes 10 years to gain people's trust and consistently deliver. I think one of the special things about AK Ricks is we go above and beyond. We try to dream up some dream and then we try to make that actually happen. If I only had so much gratitude, 99% of it would go to Rick, the owner of the store. He definitely has confidence in the vision that we decide on. He's not my father, but I think in some ways, he is a father to everyone here. He genuinely cares about everyone here. It makes you feel like he's not a busy guy when he totally is and he's got way more important things to do than talk about my dog. When you think about you know, someone who, you know, no matter the challenges you might face, has always said, well, what's next? Well, how are we going to fix that? I don't know, that's, that's who he's been to me. I don't know what the next 10 years has for Acurix. Um I don't, you know, I, I think in hopes we become, you know, that next household name. I think that's something that I think would be awesome, not just for Rick, but I think for the people that have kind of built this company what it is for the last decade. I think that's kind of the end goal. I think that's kind of what we've all really worked towards and to make a difference in the men's and women's fashion world. To start the next decade with 43 employees and so many clients and such better relationships with vendors, I can't imagine where we'll be in 2030.